In this video, I will show you how to test and disassemble this 2017 Dodge Charger Xenon headlight. Here's the wire connector for the headlight. There are four pins on the top row, five pins on the bottom row. Starting on the bottom right, the first pin is your power for your bi xenon. The second pin is the ground for your bi xenon capability. The third pin is going to be your power for your xenon headlight, the ballast. The fourth pin will be your ground for your xenon ballast. The bottom left pin here is going to be your ground for the daytime running light and the turn signal. So on the top row, we're going to ignore the first pin on the top left. The second pin is going to be your daytime running light high. The third pin will be your daytime running light low. And the fourth pin is going to be your turn signal. So we'll go ahead and get these tested real quick and you can see what it looks like. Here's the main Xenon headlight. Here is the turn signal. Here is the daytime running light low mode. Here is the daytime running light high mode. Now that the light has been tested, we'll go ahead and begin disassembly. We will start by removing the ballast. There are three T20 screws holding the ballast in place. With the three screws removed and the ballast pulled out, we now need to use a pocket screwdriver to release these clips in order to remove the ballast. The next step is to remove the Xenon bulb. The first thing we need to do is remove the bottom wire connector from the bulb. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to squeeze the connector gently and pull it down. With the wire connector disconnected from the bulb, I'm now going to twist the bulb retainer to the left and then remove the bulb. The bulb is now free from the headlight. At this point, I can remove the ballast wire for the bulb. With the ballast and bulb removed from the headlight, I will now remove the lens and we will disassemble the internals of the light. I've disconnected the lens from the housing, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. There are four T20 screws holding the black bezel in place. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. There was a LED here on the outside corner, but the housing was pretty busted. So this just fell off when I took the lens off. But I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing the three LED units. So this outside one is actually one LED unit and there are two wire connectors on it. So all I had to do was remove the three T20 screws and the two wire connectors and this big outside LED unit came out. The turn signal LED unit is held on by two T20 screws. There's a single wire connector on the bottom of the turn signal unit. The Xenon projector is held in place by three fixed mounting points. There really isn't a good way to get these off other than to grab them and pull or to use a pair of pliers and try to get behind it and push forward. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these all off real quick and we will have the projector removed. I popped the projector off of the mounts, and now all that's left to do is to release the bi-xenon solenoid wire connector.
The black bezel on the projector is held on by three T20 screws on the rear. The Xenon projector is held to the bracket using four T15 Torx screws. The Torx screws that hold the projector to the bracket also hold the projector lens to the bowl. The last thing to do is to remove the wire harness connector. And to do this, you just need to grab the wire harness connector on the rear and give it a quarter turn twist to the left. And then it will pop out and you can pull all the wires through. I've disassembled the LED turn signal and here are all of the LED components from the light. Here is the Xenon projector. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.